Well, hello, kindred spirits. Guess what? I think this is going to be the last video that you see our kitchen in disarray because this weekend I get to clean and organize and decorate. I'm currently getting ready to go through some of the cookbooks that I have here. Before I put them on the shelf, I'm going to make a grocery list. We have some storms coming in and I figured it would be nice to have some things in the home that I can start making some nice home cooked meals. Now that it sounds like I'm going to have the kitchen back to myself starting this weekend, keeping my fingers crossed. Now I filmed this video maybe a couple weeks ago, but I was realizing that I have made scallops in the past and I might have videotaped them. I know I did it on a blog a long time ago, but I wanted to share how easy it is to make scallops. And some of you may already know this and others might be afraid to try, but it is super easy to make the perfect scallop. And all you really wanna do is you get some fresh scallops at your butcher or your local market and you wanna make sure you um, pat them dry. You want them nice and dry. Heat up my saucepan with some olive oil, and this actually happens to be garlic-infused olive oil that we got at a local store, and it really added a nice flavor to the scallops. And I'm just gonna heat this pan up, and it's not a lot of oil. You just wanna be able to sear the outer edges. Once the oil is nice and hot, you're going to place your scallops in and try to remember the pattern you put them in. And here's why. You don't want to flip these until they're very easy to flip. They will release themselves from the pan. And if you start with the first one and you know it's not coming off, the others will follow suit. So once you can flip easily that very first scallop to the other side, you know that they're done on that side and then you can cook it just as long on the other. And once again, don't remove it until it's easily released from the pan. Now I'm going to grab one to show you that I know is not ready to, to move yet. And I'm just gonna give it a little wiggle and see how it's stuck. It's not ready to flip yet. But let me show you what happens when it is ready to flip. I'm going to that very first one that I put in and I gave it a little wiggle and it came off easily. So keep in mind some pans might not cook evenly, but for the most part, this will be the golden rule. And you might notice when I go to flip, I still give them a little wiggle just to make sure they're ready to flip. Be careful not to let them sit too long because you can dry them out. Scallops don't take long to cook. I repeat the same process for the other side and once they are ready, I put them on a plate with a fresh paper towel or even a paper bag just to get the extra oil off and then I serve them and most of the time I serve them on a salad. I made this meal on the first night we got our counters and they had yet to be sealed. I had to do that the next day. So I decided to put a towel down just to make sure I didn't get any oil on them. I will show you the counter underneath in a moment. And then in a future video, I will also show you what I used to seal my counters and how I did that. But I'm serving this right now on a Caesar salad and it was really a quick and easy meal to make. The project is moving along here on the porch. Once again, we knew we were gonna do this, but we didn't think we were going to add it to our list. But we figured the guys were here, the mess was here. Why not add this one last thing before spring arrives? So they have already finished the one wall where the door is. This hutch will be going back on this large wall. It used to be in the kitchen, as you might remember, but I don't think it's going to fit. And over in this area, there will also be clapboards, but we're going to wait until the new window comes in and then they can frame it in properly. So I'll have it partially done at least. And I won't paint in here until the temperature rises, but it's a great spring project. And the door here will also be painted. 
And I'm guessing and pretty sure I might do this the Wainscot Green, which was the color Groton House was outside. And we also used it on the inside of our kitchen door, which I really liked. But I'm gonna look at the sample here. I have a, a quart down in the basement from the previous home. I'm gonna give it a go and see what it looks like with the lighting here. But big changes, that's for sure. The guys just left and I am checking out what this room looks like now with the new clapboards and oh my goodness. Now, keep in mind, this is just the primed wood and what a difference. It is so much brighter in here. Now, you can see that we did leave this natural beam here. This, phone, this new phone always goes in and out. We did leave the natural beam and then we just put another up top when I say we, the contractors of course, but we requested that. I will not be painting that beam out. And actually I think we're gonna go back to the ceiling. So they're missing two more pieces. That's why it looks a little funny. There'll be two more. I didn't even notice while I was staring at that. So that will go up to the ceiling. And then, you know, like I said earlier, I'm going to then wait to paint this in the spring when it's a little warmer out here. Now we do have heat out here. There are floor registers that blow hot air, but this is not a room that is well insulated. So it usually does stay about 45, 50 degrees though, even on very cold winter days, which is kind of cool. You know, I'll be able to come out here and still, you know, when I come in from the outside, you do warm up. So that's nice, but Tomorrow, other than the duck and the fountain, <laughs> all of this will be gone. They are cleaning up their stuff tomorrow. And then they will be back next Wednesday, I'm sorry, next Thursday, to finish installing the tavern cabinets because by Wednesday, we should have the counter in. So a lot will be going on. Then it will be down to everything pretty much me and it's going to be painting. And I'm gonna tell you this right now, I will most likely be doing some decorating here in the kitchen. Let me just go inside because even though it's not cold, cold out there, it's chilly. I will for sure be doing some decorating starting here and placing items. And then what I will do is move them to paint. I have gone without a kitchen for so long that I want to decorate, see what things are going to go where. And then, like I said, I'll cover them or whatnot. Um, but maybe over the weekend, I will be able to do some painting. I will finally be able to unwrap the chandelier and I need to get new bulbs because before we take down the light switch over here, just by habit, we would turn it on and then we would melt the plastic on the bulb. So I'm looking forward to getting that off, but I am going to keep everything wrapped and I'm not gonna start any painting because on Thursday, well actually, which is tomorrow, the sand, the sandy will begin on the ceiling. But do you remember all those really big holes that I had? Even before sanding, it is so smooth looking right now. It's amazing. This will be one of the very last things that I paint because I very much do not like painting ceilings. I think I dislike it more than painting window frames, but you know, once again, when I get my second wind from other painting projects, I will do that. You know, I think I can shut this fan off. So yeah, it's uh, we are down to the wire. This cardboard flooring will be coming up tomorrow. Their mats are coming up tomorrow. They have a couple things they're gonna fix here on the floor, like under here. I do know where the two floors meet. There is a little bit of rubbing and bumping. They're gonna scribe a little bit. And I have some stain markers that I'll use just to fix some things up. And look, I am already preparing myself for some unevenness with the floor and whatnot because we were already discussing that in a year or two, these floors will all be sanded down and match the others with a stain. So I am very much prepared that I'm gonna see differences in the two floors and that's just is what it is, but it's going to be better than 
the checkered colored child floor and cardboard, that's for sure. But then after this, I have so many fun things I can do. When I say fun, maybe not fun for some, but I am looking forward to pulling out all of my, my linen napkins and my tablecloths, ironing them and putting them away in our drawers. Um, I'm looking forward to going through the fabrics that are gonna be coming in for me to consider for these bench seat cushions. I am looking forward to seeing if Queen Bess looks good here. We did try to make sure it, she would fit, but I'm feeling she'll be overwhelming and large there, but I'm just gonna give her a try because what better place to reign over the kitchen, over the fireplace looking this way. If not, she will go on this wall here, which is what I planned and where she was planning to go. She would also fit in this area, but we added one more light switch, so it kind of would cover the light switch and that won't work. I'm gonna be trying the tall case clock right over here and see if I like the look of that. If not, I'll be bringing in another small table and lamp in that area. But I cannot wait, I'm gonna have lamps here and accessories. I'm finally going to be filling the cabinets. The other day, or actually last night, Ben asked about the glasses. I have some of our nice crystal glassware up here. And he's like, where's the regular everyday stuff going? Well, the regular everyday stuff will be going in this cabinet because this glassware and a lot of other glassware that's in storage right now is going to go in the tavern. And I did, oops, I just stepped on a box. And I did already confirm, I put two wine glasses in the cabinet over the washing machine and dryer and they were on the spin cycle, they didn't rattle at all. So I know I'm gonna be able to put our glassware up there and also some bottles. So this might be the last video that you see with the kitchen in this state. And I still have some painting due in the butler's pantry, but I'm gonna be giving a tour at one point now pulling things together. And then I'll do probably a before and after for some of these rooms. But um, yeah, I'm so looking forward to this weekend. Try not to rush it. I'm really trying not to rush life by. And speaking of such, I was already thinking about how I was going to start planning out the green room, the living room that we sit in. And I realized that I don't have to rush that. I want to allow myself to enjoy this process, decorating here, and then when I'm ready to do the green room, I will sit and enjoy looking at items for that. That doesn't mean I'm not gonna be looking for inspiration. That doesn't mean if I see something out and about that gets my creative juices going, sure. Then I will put that aside and uh, work on that. But right now, I wanna finish this room, the butler's pantry and the tavern. And then I have a bit more to do also in our great room here and the dining room in the bedroom. And I still have more rooms in this house that you haven't seen other than maybe a quick walkthrough when we first bought the property. So I have more projects to do here in the house. Don't worry, we're gonna have a lot to do together. Early morning still, and speaking of rooms, I'm still going to be doing over this master bathroom, which I'm not going to turn yet because there's quite a bit of a mess behind me. This is one of the projects we might be working on this summer. It's possible, but not sure. Right now we do have more snow that just came down, more coming, but that's okay. Spring is coming. It's, there's no doubt. It could be a while, but it's still coming. In several of my past videos, I've mentioned how I love to have flowers around me. And yesterday I picked up these flowers at the checkout of our local market. These flowers are produced and grown here in one of our local businesses and they were just so pretty I couldn't pass them up. But I also purchased things to start putting in the butler's pantry to get ready for some baking that we're gonna be doing together. And I love milk chocolate and white chocolate so I'm gonna be starting with that. And these will be going into the new pantry cabinet that we built and I'm looking forward to finally getting things organized.
This is Thursday morning and I had to take the tulips out of the kitchen because they are sanding the ceiling. So they are now safe and sound in the butler's pantry where I'll be able to enjoy them while I'm making meals for the day. Well, kindred spirits, while I'm finishing the editing of this video, I hear the contractors have been cleaning up, they're putting things in their trucks, and I am very soon going to be able to start cleaning off my furniture and putting it back in the kitchen just to make it feel a little more cozy and a little more like home. And I will be doing some decorating this weekend, which I will show in next week's video. On a side note, I shared this picture on Instagram yesterday and I had questions about the flag. It is called a Grand Union flag for those of you who don't know. And it was the first known flag for the United States from 1775 to 1775. 77 and then the Betsy Ross flag came out also in 1777 to replace this one Once again, if anybody's interested, I do have it linked on my Amazon store It's the way we purchased ours and we've been very pleased with the quality But for now, I hope you enjoy your weekend and your upcoming week and I will see you later Bye now